All right. Oh, there's another hole. Okay, so this came just in a regular flat envelope made of plastic. So it has a display. And it's in this little hubcap looking thing. <laughs> and it looked like it survived that. It didn't come in a box though. Interesting. All right, it says on here, Yi Wu Jing Long. That was it, Jing Long. Lao Shu Cha Cheng. Substantial cake of pu'er, ripe pu'er, what we love. Just now opening it for the first time. What's it look like, Emma? Mm -hmm. Dark and lovely. Oh, and there's a note. A note. Yeah, I can't read that. It's in Can Chinese. Okay, okay what's that? that say, folks? We don't know. Probably says, here's some tea. I hope you like it. But I want to open it. Mm. Oh, and I'm wearing my Avatar t-shirt today. It smells like pu'er, dark and lovely. Emma is using a tea pick. So ripe poo air is pressed into this interesting shape and left for a long time to age so that the microbes can change it and make it more delicious. One thing about this cake is that it's a little bit harder than some of the other ones that I have. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Picked. Well, it means it's more pressed. Okay. And while we were shopping on Amazon, we got two of this. This was described as a tea pet, among other things. It's rather tiny. And what you do with a tea pet is you pour the tea out over it as an offering or a, as a way of feeding it. It's kind of like a pet rock, I guess. I don't think you water a pet rock. I might be wrong. Oh, you don't do much with a pet rock. But it's actually it. got a little hole in it, so you could use it as a necklace if you have a really big fashion statement to make. Also, I'm wearing my Avatar t-shirt. We chose this one because it looks like a goat. And we have goats. Mmm, okay. oh, this is a good one. I like it. Mmm, basement with dirt. A good sign. Yes. I like it. It's smooth. It's not a challenging pu'er at all. But it's nice. It's uh, a little bit nutty. Okay, so let's stick a little bit of water on this tea pit and see what happens. Well, I think you're supposed to pour your first tea on there. Right? You give it some of the tea. Because mm. you love it and you're sharing. I'm not getting any tea, buddy. Well, the first rinse that you're supposed to pour off anyway? Mm, we didn't do that. Didn't you do that? No. We're drinking the first one? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, well, here you go, buddy. Oh, look at there. Now he's happy. How can you tell if a gold goat is happy? I don't know, but he's ridiculously tiny. He is. His we'll horns are to nice. him, too. He's a cute little fellow, but I think I'd use him as a necklace. He sort of looks like Jasper if Jasper was golden and really small. Jasper is one of our miniature goats, and he has the most amazing horns. Here's a picture of Jasper for reference. You can see him on Six Goats and a Dog, our we other YouTube channel. Much. Go look at him. See what you think. They're very fluffy. The dog's cute, too. And cantankerous. He has very sad eyes, that dog. Mm. But if you want some more of us, then go over there and look at that. Like the world has wronged him. The world has wronged Chester. <laughs> I he don't gets know. two meals a day and a herd of goats to play with. That's a pretty good life. And uh, sometimes he gets to bark at a pest control man. Now what I don't understand is his relationship with the mother goat, Esmeralda. Oh, that's weird. He used to chase her, but the other day... He went into the doghouse while the goats were eating, and she followed him in there. 
and I don't know why. Okay, was that number one then? Because the one we tasted first was the runoff. <laughs> We're supposed to rinse it. The rinse was tasty. <laughs> number one was good. Hmm. What are we going to get next? Tried a new method to curl my hair. Oh, Emma's all into fluffy hair now. So I have like a band right here, and then I wrap each piece around the band separately and leave it in overnight, or when I've just washed my hair, I dry it. It looks like very that. 18th century when she's got it on. It looks like a headband with little tendrils hanging out. It's very curly and fluffy. I like it. So the latest thing we're trying to achieve is to find Emma a long black concert dress because we're going to be in a choir for a local university. And it can't be too college, flashy. A local college. It can't be too showy. It has to be floor length and it can't dip this much, although that's a given. We're going to sing in May at this college as part of their college glee club, basically. They wanted to invite the community to participate. A Beethoven piece and a Mozart piece. I am certainly the youngest one there. You are. Right now we're practicing coronation mass. She used to be uh, very involved. Mm. What were you in I middle? dropped out to get married and have you. I was the end of her career. I was the costumer for the local opera company, actually. Wasn't one of your first dates with Daddy at one of your operas? Uh, I think that was the third date. He just sat and watched you? I was in the jury. That was the little short operetta. And then I was costuming it. And then we also did the telephone as a little twofer. And that featured the furniture from my living room because I was also doing this setting, the set. I was the set person for that one. I did the props. Very 2000s um, furniture, I'm sure. No, that couch over there has been on stage. We did it in the Masonic Lodge, which is fabulous. It looks just like a courtroom. And here's a fun fact for you. A G and an A rung together sound like a telephone ringing. So for the telephone, we had to have the telephone ringing. So I suggested that the music director, who was the bell choir director of his church, bring a G and an A, which he did. And every time the phone rang, he just played a G and an A on his bells. Okay, is this number two? Three if you count the backwash. Mm. Backwash. Huh? <laughs> mm. The tea's backwash. Mm. It's, um, it's... <laughs> Appetizing. <laughs> this is a nice gentle pu'er. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Fluffy-haired girl. Look at this fluffy hair. I like it when you wash it. It's so fluffy. It's good. She's washing it. She's reached 13. And the magic is beginning to happen when you become aware of your own self. Look at how fluffy. Oh, I've always wanted my hair to be curly. Mm. Yes, but you never wanted to bathe. So I applaud this. I never wanted to, be, to bathe because I was scared of my bathtub. And your bathtub made me sneeze. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Her bathtub is deep and it, it's tan colored, so it's a little dark in there. And it has a... What does it have? A ceiling. The shower has a ceiling. Oh. So um, The whole assembly of the inside of the tub is that material that bathtubs are made of. So it's not the normal ceiling, it's the bathtub ceiling. It that. also makes creaky noises whenever you like... Plastic or um, whatever that is. Move, if you move the wrong way, it makes creaky noises. So uh, I didn't like that because if it fell through the floor, I would be trapped underneath the house with the rats, with a there ceiling. There are no rats. Underneath the floor? There are no rats? There, there are rats under there? I don't know. But that's what six-year-old me thought. This is why your six-year-old doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> she thinks there are rats under the floor. Well, I didn't... I was fine with rats being under the floor. I just didn't want to meet them personally. And you thought the shower was going to fall into... Well, it was creaking. Come to me and ask me questions. Maybe I'll help you understand. 
You expect an eight-year-old to believe that a shower isn't going to crack and um, throw her into the abyss below. Well, I'll tell you, when I was eight years old, I used to ride the school bus. And I had these ideas as I was driving along. What if the bus rolls? What if the bus driver has a heart attack? And I figured, as an eight-year-old, I would marshal the high school boys to do any heavy lifting that was needed. And, and then I myself would save the bus driver, you know, perform CPR, whatever needed to be done, and call She's for the daughter of nurses, if you couldn't tell. I didn't know CPR. And at night, if, if I was awake and couldn't sleep, I would go sit at the top of the stairs, right outside my parents' bedroom, and I would formulate a plan for what to do if the burglars came up the stairs. Okay, what was that, number three? It is steady. It's, mm-hmm. it's maybe getting a little stronger. But it's still... A little bit of astringency, not just a lot. You know, mm-hmm. Pu'er doesn't have a lot anyway. It kind of reminds me of my birthday tea. Like, it's... What am I looking for? It's nice. Would you say creamy? Mm-hmm. It's nice and smooth and gentle and appropriate for someone who's not really versed in puer yet, so I'd say it's a good starter puer. We're going to keep drinking it, and I'm going to try to remember to ask my child what she's thinking, because she surprises me. I think like you. I never knew you were worried about the bathtub crashing down. We'll talk to you kids. And until we see you again... Make sure to make time for your good book. I'm not going to turn it off yet, because I'm pouring the tea.